Hey guys, welcome to the solutions videos for the JavaScript introduction and programming challenge. Uh, this challenge is actually not really that much of a challenge, but I just wanted to make this video and show you kind of um, just kind of, I just want to show you around, play around with this uh, challenge. It's very simple, but first read the intro to the Eloquent JavaScript book. So it's right here, but I just opened all the tab. Basically, it's this book and it's created and it's, it's on the web, web. So you could just click on the introduction and you could go ahead and read it at your own leisure. It's a very simple book, easy to digest. So go ahead and read it. Um, if you go back, get your IDE set up. So if you don't know what an IDE is, I created this tutorial on IDEs. If you click that link, it will take you to this integrated development environment IDE page that I made. Uh, gives you a brief summary of it. Um, all IDEA is, is a text editor. It's just where you type your code in. But there's tons of different ones out there. And um, yeah, I made a little exercise here to download Atom. Atom is right here. Click that. This is the IDE that I use. Um, it's made by GitHub. It's fully featured. I think you could, just using Atom, you could be a professional developer, no problem. But yeah, so here I'm talking about file trees and stuff like that. So let me just, let me just open up Adam here. Let me just show you a few things that I think are super important. So you see this um, si section right here, this is the file tree. So you could bring it in like that, but I usually like to get really familiar using commands like shortcuts to in increase my speed. So it's command B and command B again um, to open that up and get good at fuzzy finding. So if you do command P, then you could type in, you know, here like GitHub or something like that. And then basically you can find this GIF right here, or let's see, we could go into JavaScript and then find this readme and then just open it. So it does fuzzy finding, right? Um, but that's kind of how it is. And command W closes windows, just like in Chrome, I guess. But yeah, and the other thing is if you go to like, if you type in command shift P, uh, install, you could go to settings, view, and install themes. And this right here is pretty important because later on you're gonna you're gonna want to add things to this to customize um, your atom to your liking. So you could add linters, you could add um, syntax highlighting, you could add uh, back background syncing, you could add support for all these different languages. Here's some some of them that you can install, and you could search whatever you want, right? So. JavaScript there's probably a linter or something will pop up here um, yeah language JavaScript JavaScript snippets these are all things you could install and if you click into them for example JavaScript script, uh, snippets it will take you to the website of their documentation page usually um, so that's something that you could look into for example here and this is how you use the snippet so if you really want you could do this so it looks like this is a thing where you could type in two letters and tap complete probably to, um, you know, console lock things really quickly or this and that. There's a bunch of stuff, you know, use it at your own will. And installing Note. You could just click on this and then it'll download, a, uh, you know, one of those wizards and you could just go through and install it. And then this is where it will install it into. You could use this or you could also use something called Homebrew. Um, I use Homebrew, but uh, basically Homebrew is a package manager for your operating system. It's pretty cool, but it could get a little messy if you don't know what you're doing. So for now, just follow that prompt or if you really want, you could use this curl. You literally just copy paste this into your directory. And this is an assumption that you have Ruby and I believe Max ships with Ruby. So let's clear the prompt and go back to here and then let's create the so I get directory called challenge challenge see it's challenge and then we're gonna create the hello world file I hope you guys did my uh, tutorial on command line so you could you should be able to complete this let's create the hello world.js file and in here we could go into atom dot or you could type in Adam hello world or you could go into Vim if you're a Vim expert now. So in here, 
we said that we we're going to log hello world. So let's console.log hello hello world. So hello world, you probably know, but it's a very common first program that you're supposed to write. And what one thing you uh, this console log is just a simple it's JavaScript's way of logging things to the console. So you we could say that now back in here if we type in node and we type in the name of the file that we want to execute and bam we have console log. Um, a little more things about node that I want to show you guys. Let me just full screen this and then begin it a little bit. If you type in node itself, it'll open this uh, greater than sign symbol. And what that means is you're inside node now. Now you have access to uh, whenever, it, it's called a REPL, read, evaluate, print, line, I think. Yeah, but basically you could go in here and type in the console log, hello world, and then it'll print out hello world. But you could do things, you could program in here essentially. So a lot of people use the REPL um, they call it to test out their programs really quickly and test out their ideas before they actually just write the code and execute it. Sometimes it's faster to uh, verify your ideas on the REPL instead. Uh, so you could, and I'll be using the REPL a lot for the next tutorial, um, but you could do things like var x equals one, and then you could say x, and then it prints out one because it's basically every time you, it evaluates and prints that line right so to exit you could type exit I believe no sorry you could do command C twice or control C twice and that should be fine um, yeah there's so many command line languages that use exit or uh, control C or you know colon Q there's like different ways to exit out of stuff so you know you can get confusing but don't worry you just figure it out so yeah that was the challenge it's very simple um, some people are asking me how do I uh, kind of quickly change my windows without touching the mouse. I use a tool, so basically window management, right? So like I could do things like that. I could full screen it, move this over, you know, close this completely, you know, make that into a proper size. I use a program, free, full, free tool called Spectacle, and it's this guy right up here. Yep, you could just download it. Super simple. I use this. Um, this is one of the first things I install in all of my um, all of my machines. Uh, on Windows, is built in. It's not as good, but yeah, on all of my machines, I install this because it's just so it it, it helps me program so much quickly. But yeah, um, this challenge is like super simple. So I was I hope you were able to complete it successfully, and let me know if, um, if there's some other things I could add to this. Um, but yeah, feel free to comment below and uh, keep me in touch. Thank you. Bye.